like to welcome Mary Jane Nathaniel, with, which is a gifted and talented teacher in McGoffin County, and she is going to be with her students on Project Reach the Stars. The title of our project is Reach for the Stars, and we are the McGuffin County Elementary Stars. Stars stand for Students Transforming Appalachian Region with Service. As McGuffin County Elementary Stars, we proudly represent all three elementary schools in our county. In order, we have North McGuffin, represented by Ryan Gibson, Tess Rosner, Isaiah Sider, Riley Meadows, and Andrew Morgan. Sayersville Grade School, represented by Joseph Porter, Taryn Hunley, Hunter Howard, and Bianca Gibson. South McGoffin, represented by Levi Rudd, Haley Joseph, <coughs> Jaden Coleman, uh, Alyssa Fletcher, and Caitlin Downey. At our initial stars meeting, we took some time to get to know each other. Then we began brainstorming our area of concern and the challenges we all face as a county. McGoffin County is located in a small rural area with limited resources and activities available to its youth. The unemployment and poverty rates are consistency, consistently in the top five in the state. The vast majority of students in the public school system are eligible for free or reduced lunch. There are no recreational sites available to the youth of the area. Changes identified in our county. With limited options for recreation, students may be tempted to experiment with substance abuse. There are limited options as to healthy food choices. Ch childhood obesity is increasing. Bored youth may choose inappropriate ways to entertain themselves. Students have significant amount of time with no structured re recreational activities available. Many students may find it difficult to avoid recreational activities or travel. Alter alternative solution ideas. We conducted a survey of school students to determine where our program would have the strongest impact. It was determined that high school students did not have a strong desire for this service due to increased mo mobility and access to other activities. After looking at the REACH student drug education survey given at our middle school, we decided that sixth grade would be the most appropriate age group. This is our community's underlying problem. How might we increase appropriate recreational options for the children and youth in McGoffin County so that they are less likely to get involved in inappropriate activities such as drugs, alcohol, and crime? We are very concerned as a group. We have seen the effects of drugs on the people of our, of our area. As a group, we came up with a plan. We decided that approximately every six weeks that we would host a recreational activity. The purpose of these events would include activities with an emphasis on drug education. This would include, include both elementary and middle school STARS teams and other community organizations working together to achieve the goal. Before we could write drug education skits or presentations, we had to do research. We curated flyers and invitations for sixth grade students. 
star students met with the principals at their schools and asked if we could put up flyers advertising, advertising our events. We also visited each sixth grade class to share information about the special events. <coughs> Our team worked hard to plan and prepare for the events. We planned drug education activities as well as fun and games. Our first event was a Adult Marvel Drugs Fall Carnival. We were able to share a drug free message with students who attended. We, we played games like bingo, pool, no, no tire game, basketball, and lucky ducks. Everyone had fun, including the Stars team. Drug education and prevention skits were performed by Hellwood Middle School Community Problem Solvers. HWMS is partnering with us to achieve our goal of education to grade students with an angel of drugs. We mustache you to stay off drugs. Also, if you go <coughs> to our display board, we will give you a free mustache if you promise to share our message. We partnered with Reach the we partner with the REACH organization to learn more about drug awareness and prevention. Members of REACH to help our team prepare drug education presentations and attended our, our dance. <laughs> Results of the REACH student survey at Harrow River Middle School. We have the statistics from the last REACH organization student drug education survey at the middle school. 287 students were given questionnaires. These are some of the questions they were asked. Do you smoke or chew? 11% of the students said yes. <laughs> have you ever used drugs or alcohol? 10% of students said yes. Do you have a friend that uses drugs or alcohol? 26% of the students said yes. Have you ever been offered drugs or alcohol? 10% <coughs> of the students said yes. Have you ever seen anyone in a school with drugs or alcohol? 26% of students. As you get ready to enter middle school, you need to realize how important it is to stay off drugs and alcohol. Please take the drug free pledge with us. Raise your right hand. I pledge to lead the way of God. Living a drug free life. Living a drug free life. Join my friends, say drug free life is more fun. have been helping children in our community go down the right path and stay off drugs. Out of all of our middle school students, 26% have found themselves a family or a friend using drugs. When it comes to drugs, star students have learned that peer pressure is a big problem in our schools. We're trying to change that. We've been uh, giving kids uh, things to do at their school to get them something to do and keep them off drugs. We realize that we are the future of McGuffin County. It is up to us to prevent drug usage. We are dedicated to this cause and we hope you do this. We 
real view of life should be all you can do to help the youth of our region realize the importance of staying drug free. We are going to continue to reach for the stars as we spread our drug free message.